what is up disc golfers today on iceberg tv we have a different kind of video here for you today on the channel we are doing an latitude 64 opto bite only round so we're going to play nine holes here at the world famous reedy creek park to my understanding this is the oldest course in charlotte north carolina one of the first courses put in if not the first course put in beautiful wooded lines. It's going to be a very challenging video today. We're using the Bite, the Moonshine Glow Bite. It is a dog frisbee, so this is more of a disc that you would, you know, throw and catch with your friend or possibly just throw to a dog. Very similar to the glitch as far as the flight goes, maybe a little bit less stable, but a very different profile. You can see we've got this like super weird like pop top dome. It's almost like a Castaplast Berg, except Instead of being indented down, it's indented upward in more of a convex formation. I'm not sure of the flight numbers. I would definitely put it in the one speed category. You have no wide rim to speak of at all. So definitely still put it in that one speed category. Really cool disc, really cool stamp. Thanks Latitude64 for sending this out to me. Uh, yeah, really excited to throw this for you guys in the video today. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. And if you like videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm happy to come out, give you guys really good disc reviews, go out, test things for you, really give you the honest opinion of what I think about it. But it really helps me understand what you guys like if you comment down below. You're watching Iceberg TV. Enjoy the video. Hole two, par three, 268 feet, hyzer from right to left. It's almost impossible to get this thing to hyzer, so we're gonna have to really spike it to get it over there. Gone the local route through the woods. I can't see them, but if you listen closely, you'll be able to hear all the frogs. Pretty cool. The forehand bite is never the move. Oh, might be in C2. Get in. Let's go. Come on, baby. Hole three, 277 feet. Absolute smash. Hole four, 214 feet. This is probably one of my only chances at getting a birdie out here today. Need to smash the hyzer. You can see it's like kind of tilted like that a bit. It's gonna make it even flippier. We need to smash the hyzer as hard as we can and get the perfect flip up. Maybe we can get inside the circle for a birdie. That's literally as good as I can possibly do with that disc. Hole five, uphill, 230 feet. If we get into position here, we'll have a chance at a throw in. It's actually circle's edge, possibly, eh, probably inside C1. Hole six, par three, 280. The basket is just super straight and then a little to the left. Just gotta hit the gap. All right, we're on hole seven. We got a couple people playing the hole. Just chuck it downhill. Maybe it fades over, maybe it doesn't. 
So far, I'm impressed with the glide. It's really fun to just smash it on hyzer, let it flip up and just go dead straight, maybe get a little drift to the right. You can't, you can't really power grip this thing and I can't really do my normal pinch grip either. I'm just doing a big like kind of front loaded fan grip like this. And then for putting, it's, it's, it's a, you know, it, it's tough to putt with for sure, but it's super fun to spin it, spin it right in there when you get the hang of it. But the grip when throwing it, I'm just doing this big fan grip, but I'm not pinching very hard. It's like a pinch fan, but nice and soft. I'm just trying to really smooth it out there with a little bit of hyzer. Let the glide and, and the disc do the work as opposed to on hole one, I really tried to force it. There was a bunch of people there and I got nervous, just <whistles> grip locked it right over. But now that I'm getting used to it, it's actually quite fun to throw. I think they just tapped out on hole seven. Let's give it a, let's give it a whirl. might have aced it. I think that's close. I actually had a chance of acing. All right, we kicked just behind this tree here. It was definitely tracking for the ace. Let's try and get another birdie. Yes, sir. I got to make that my new C2 putter. Hole eight, 230 feet. I typically like to flip up forehand on this shot because there's this tree uh, right on the left side of the fairway here that tends to block the backhand shot. But with the bite, I think we can flip one up the right side and get somewhat close. So the bite might be making the bag after this video. I was so skeptical when I started, oh my God. All right, we got just outside the circle. Try to just spin it right in again. Oh, good try, good try, good try. All right, hole nine, not sure of the distance, but it's on the shorter side of things. The common play is like the flex forehand just through the gap and then the basket's sort of dead ahead, but you have to navigate this little S turn here. We're gonna have to go with the skill shot Anheuser backhand, very rarely seen. That's about expected, to be honest. That's, I expected nothing, uh, nothing else. <laughs> All right, the basket's just through this little tree gap here. Um, this is really where the bite should shine is these little touch turning shots. Really need to practice the patent pending, so this is a good opportunity. Tree kick of a lifetime. High left, bad putt. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the Latitude 64 Moonshine Opto Bite. Absolute mouthful of a name of this disc. Only round. Yeah, played nine holes with that. Picked up three or four birdies, which is leaps and bounds beyond how well I thought I would do. On hole one, I tried to throw it flat, grip locked it, turned it over right into a tree instantaneously. That was to be expected. There was going to be a large learning curve. But then I started to figure out figure out the flight after a few holes as long as you throw it with some power but you kind of put it like nose up with some hyzer really beautiful flight i was so shocked i was able to pick up the birdies that i was able to get out here today and then on the putting green those first few putts were a little shaky because there's not really a proper place to put your finger normally i like to kind of my finger underneath a little bit here but with this style of uh, edge it just it just simply doesn't work so I was just really spinning them in there how I, how I like to from the chest and I was nailing putt after putt, which was really, really fun. It just wants to stay in the air, it just like keeps on going. So really, really fun time throwing this disc for you guys today. If there's any other fun discs you want me to try, now that I have this pinch grip, I'm getting so much better with the slower discs. So any other one speeds you guys want me to try, 
let me know. I'll find a source for those discs, have them reach, you know, reach out to me and send me more. I'm happy to come out to Reedy Creek, film some similar types of videos or any of the other Charlotte courses. Comment down below. You're watching Iceberg TV. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you for enjoying today's video and take care.